Hello everyone, and welcome to a bit of a surprise cast in the middle of things, but we are going to be looking at a mod, or rather we're going to be looking at some request games, one of which involves a mod called the Arena Mod. A very different mod that you don't start with a commander, you start with an Arena HQ, and it kind of, well, it's sort of an auto chessy thing. So let's, let's check it out. So... Here we have sub intro element, FFC, Anarchid, FFC, and Forever, all playing this map. And okay, so it is not entirely auto chess. I was, I was exaggerating a touch. It was, it is, however, you just get certain unit types, and then you use that to capture directly, rather than using builders or using anything else. You just have your units. As I, and I kind of think I like FFC strategy the most because clearly the idea is kill Metal Extractor, get Metal Extractor. And the more quickly you can kill the Metal Extractor, the more you can get the Metal Extractor. So, yeah, I think FFC is going to have a bit of an easy time with the economy. On the other hand, Forever is. I'm not sure what they're doing. Are they just waiting for the. Yeah, nothing in storage. <clears throat> So I'm not really sure what they're waiting for. Oh, never mind. They got it. They got bad rolls. That's what happened. Yeah, that that is that is the thing. Okay, I think players are making fun of Goldie there, but still it is interesting the idea of having a random roll. Again, this is kind of like auto chess, but it is not like auto chess. It's people pointing on the chat. The one thing that gets me in common is the fact that you have five units that you can pick and you get them at random. The difference, of course, is that in auto chess games you don't control what they do and you also don't have to keep getting new ones. They, as soon as, like, you get them to upgrade them or in some cases have some kind of symmetry or synergy going on between unit types. But no, this is just, these are the units you get. And that is how it goes. And there's the new types you can get. You can build them if you have the metal for it. And that's what you do. And so far... So far, Forever started out in a really tough spot. Because they have just got dirt bags. They have a few more units now. But again, they only have like 30 some odd metal. Whereas, you know, Forever has fleas. Actually, FC has fleas. Anakin and Forever have glaives. Oh. Oh, that's neat. So it's building up more defense. Also, okay, neat. Building up more defenses as you go. And clearly making them yours once you get them. But, huh, okay. Is that happening on the ones that are... Yes, that is happening on the ones that are owned by the players. Just as the game progresses, stuff gets more... Okay, that is a really cool mechanic. I haven't really had a chance to play this mode, so... I am just trying to very quickly go over what's happening as I see it, but... What I see is the game is massively expanding how you go. Yeah, people pointing in the chat that it's just sometimes you get bad rolls, and that that makes sense. That depends on how you use them. FFC using the rolls they got very well. Another strong defense there though. We do have oh a bunch of venoms coming in here. From Manor Kid. FFC is not going to be able to expand as much as they were before, and Anarchid already has most of the center. Subintrolerant is... Subintrolerant... Subintrolerant? Subintrolerant is still hanging on there. Oh, But we have a switch over to Locusts coming out here from forever. Their luck might turn around. Same time, though, they her neighbor is actually kind of weakened for a bit. Anarchid pushing on FFC, so that gives... I guess forever a bit of room to push in and maybe take back some of what FFC had already captured from the neutral side. Though to be fair, they have to contend with Anarchid more than anything else. But hey, you know, they've they've got they had some pretty good units coming in there. I mean Four locusts aren't a bad set of units to have for going around and capping metal extractors. Especially when your opponent is 
kind of busy with mostly anti-ground units, especially the dagger. Sub and Trollman can't actually do anything to deal with these unless there's defenses that have been built up. That's it. So I don't I don't think Forever knows that, but if they had a chance to go try to take advantage of that, they would absolutely get rid of them. And Anarchid kind of not, not feeling Yeah, Anarchid already going down. Thanks to those Venoms, Anarchid was able to get in and maybe kill... Oh, no! Saved! Very close. Clutch save by FFC there. That could have been scary. I mean, it was scary, obviously, but that could have been far worse. Though now, admittedly, still have the Venoms, and it's still going to be a real difficult fight with the Glaives. Thankfully, moderators are in play. That will save the day. Oh, well, that might not save the day. That'll help. But, of course, the thing is, is that Anarchy is continuing to push forward very heavily into FFC's base. Now, there isn't really much movement on the rest of the map for trying to, say, punish Anarchy for doing this stuff. I mean, sub Trollman has something of a chance, but maybe they're thinking that they can just kind of pick at the edges. Not necessarily attack directly. I mean, it's not like it's anyone's else in anyone else's interest to get rid of Anarchid directly. I mean, FFC dying is good for them in theory, though admittedly FFC dying to Anarchid with Anarchid getting all their stuff is not good. And also, unfortunately, the game being what it is, Reclaim looks like it's not going to be relevant. Oh, and neither is any pretense of being somewhat fair, because, yeah, Anarchid's got this. Anarchid with a wave of 50, 49, 48 glaze. <gasps> Ooh! So close to the outlaw. But that is it. FFC has lost their HQ. How the heck? Oh! Because of upgrades. Very smart. Although, so has forever. Oh my goodness, Seven Trolloon is upgraded already to level 6. They've got... Why do they have their main army coming in here? Knights, Impalers, Ettons as well. Helps get rid of all the locusts that were coming in from forever. But FFC is down. Anarchid getting a first kill. And now I have to deal with the rest of the players, which... Maybe they'll be able to. It's hard to tell. There were some outlaws coming in from before for forever, and I think... Sub and Troll went. I might have to re-roll here to get something more useful. Though to be fair, with all the glaze lined up like this, daggers are actually going to be quite effective. Assuming they get in the right position. It's a little bit tricky thanks to the ramp. But Anarchid could lose quite a few units here. Granted, that may not matter. Anarchid has half the map. Other players have to come in. <coughs> Excuse me. Other players have to come in and start retaking Anarchid's mechs if they wanted to have a chance of killing off Anarchid. And I don't see that happening. Anarchy is going to be basically just running headlong into their opponent's defenses for as long as there are defenses there. Swifts are also coming up as well. Oof. And that... Well, okay, so at this point it looks like we have a lot of, rape of harpies that could be coming out. Ooh. Oh, that was a limpet that was in the that was in FFC's base. Yeah, that would have that that makes sense for the slow slow bomb. Yeah, almost. I mean, I think if the limpet had been a few seconds sooner, it would have saved FFC. And because Glaze would have been trapped, and that would have helped quite a bit turn things around. But that did not happen. However, at this point, we do have a fight between Forever and Anarchid. Forever mostly on the ground. Anarchid with the Swiss coming in though. Locust trying to fight back, having a very difficult time doing so. Outlaws on the ground for Forever, slow, slowing down, damaging the Swifts, but that's about all that Forever has to actually deal with this. Granted, a direct assault into, into FFC's old base would still be of some use. I'd, I'd be surprised if that doesn't happen, like, now-ish, honestly. And there are the rape in the Harpies. Oh, daggers don't penetrate? Really? That... No, I don't think... I think they still have lines... That No, I'm pretty sure Dagger still have line splash. Hard to check right now. I'm pretty sure they do... Oh! Bad time to go for Harpies. I mean, it's 
obviously that was gone for because, you know, harpies were green, which you know, I'm pretty sure this means you get a lot of them. Like, I'm guessing that green is, you know, seven-ish and blue is probably somewhere in the dozen-ish of units of that type. Oh, and there's purple, which is even higher. Purple Widow. Oh, Purple Phantom. Okay, well, there's a lot of rerolls coming out here from Southern Trollwind. They have the resources for it. And they definitely have the most upgraded unit shop. Doesn't seem to be helping them, though. They're getting a lot of really powerful units, but they're getting them in weird numbers. Why are they rerolling? That... What's wrong with the Dantes? Okay, I guess that's actually a lot of units, but I don't know that that massive Dantes might have been really effective. Okay, let's see if we can... Oh, I can't get... That's not tied into the unit help system. Anyway, so far, Forever did manage to... Oh, I completely missed it. Forever completely took over Anarchist base to the northwest. They actually did push in! Nice job. Anarchist, on the other hand, back with the Raptors, back to the Glaives, and Forever... They've got Outlaws, which is good. And a lot of defenses have been built up in their main base. And the... Aha! The Ettons! Nice job with the Ettons. Now we're just getting standard Thug Law Shield Ball coming in here for Anarchid. Sorry, for forever. Anarchid actually as well, I should say. that That's also happening for Anarchid as they're coming in to try to retake the Northwest base. But forever is honestly in a bit of a stronger position. They've pushed back all of the Raptors. The Glaives are going to have a bit of a tough time coming in. The Outlaws are ready for them. And, well, Southern Trollman isn't really much of a threat right now. Clearly just trying to figure out what to do with all their money, but haven't found the right role yet. Really, Chris, they must be look they're looking for something. They're clearly looking for something very specific. Anarchid, on the other hand, still on level 6. Just pushing out what units they get, and they're not really being picky, and that's honestly helping. Like, Sub and Trollman, if it weren't for the fact that Anarchid was so busy trying to take out forever, Sub and Trollman would have a much easier time, or sorry, much harder time getting through this. Also, double check. First off, let's just watch. Yeah, no, daggers still penetrate. They they still absolutely penetrate. Even says in their help foul, but also you just we just saw right there. Oh, okay, thank you. Sorry, I apparently the shop is the inventory. You buy new types of units. You can have ten types of units, and then you choose to build them over over time. Buying extra units reduces the cost. Okay, so it's actually more auto chess like than I realized, just without the whole AI controlled units thing. That actually explains a lot more of what's going on. Also explains why Sub and Trollman is being as picky as they are. Ah, also, this replay is. Okay, so apparently there was also an update for the Arena mod. I. Have not had a chance to play the arena mod. It looks like it's interesting, actually. I'm definitely glad it exists. I, yeah, that's this is. I mean, granted, I, I'm glad it exists more because of reasons I go over all the time, which is that any good game needs to have a lot of different modes, and especially for an RTS game, it needs to have modes that don't require as much out of the player from your standard like, PvP games but still have some kind of competitive element. Like, you know, a mode that doesn't require you to worry about macro is really popular. That's always been a popular thing. Going way back to, like, big game hunters, or the fastest map possible maps in StarCraft and WarCraft 2. Having something like this, yeah, this is a cool mod to have. Oh, getting rid of Metal to get rid of all the defenses. That's good to know. I'm just been curious what energy is used for. I mean, everything is using metal. Energy exists. There's solar collectors being built up, and I don't think... Oh, wait, no, I'm silly. I know why solar collectors exist, because of overdrive! Doi. Energy is just infinite, so that everything goes to overdrive, but yeah. That's why you have metal collect or solar collectors, despite the fact that sometimes they don't spawn in the right spot. But yeah, that's why you have them. Oh, right, pointing out that the mexes are actually... No, they're ch oh, I guess Arenamon made them chunkier. 
because this is as chunky as vanilla. Actually, a little less chunky. I think vanilla is 750 or something like that. At this point, the game... Back to the game, though. Anarchid and Forever going at it pretty well without worrying about Subin' Trollowin. Anarchid is pushing the front, but Subin' Trollowin is continuing to keep them at bay. Forever, on the other hand, hasn't really been able to threaten Anarchid enough to push them back. Although, maybe it's just Anarchid making a mistake. Honestly, I think it might be... Again, Forever able to take the Northwest, and doesn't look like anything is going to really stop them. I mean, there's a few Lotuses, but that's about it. And of course, killing off the Metal Extractors kills off the defenses around him, so you just kill off the Metal Extractors and go. Oh, oh, hey! This is not a unit we've ever seen before. Maybe that's what they were looking for. The Nebula, a unit which... We it's been kind of bounced around as kind of an experimental like new air strider or gunship strider, I guess, for the main game, but here we have it, just drone fighter or drone air airborne drone carrier is what it is. I'm really excited to see this actually. Good job, Southern Trollowant. <laughs> I mean essentially it's a crow with drones, but still it's hey, that's cool. Light particle beam drones too. Nice. Well, it was apparently six thousand for the pie, so that is going to be an expensive but possibly worth it situation to have. Assuming they don't get too close and let the units inside their shield, that that is a potential problem. But hey, at this point, that's pushed off all of Anarchid's forces. However, Anakin Forever still trading near the north. Anakin trying to push back into the north center. Forever having taken the northwest expansion, though, so they're still kind of even. I mean, Anakin 63, Forever... Sorry, Anakin 73, Forever 63. Metal per second. Mind you, in this game, it, flow rate is the income, but you spend discrete amounts of metal so in this particular mod. Rather unlike a lot of mods... Or a lot of games, I mean, rather than like 0k is vanilla mode. So I think this is... Oh, really? Okay, apparent people in chat saying that 6,000 may not be cost effective. I'm comparing it to Crow, which is 4,500. Although, okay, yeah, Crow doesn't have a shield. That is one po thing being pointed out. Crow doesn't have a shield. You're right. So, I'm not sure how much that affects things. That being said, Anarchid was pushed back into the north as well. Anarchid has lost a lot of territory. They do, however, have an ultimatum coming in. Ooh, this is tricksy. They won't be able to get to the main base directly. There are too many units in the way, but... Or will they? What's the decloak radius? That's the blue circle right there. The smaller blue circle is the decloak radius. See, if they were to walk in, they might be able to kind of get around and back and maybe throw the needle and then shoot the HQ because the HQ is not in the corner. Although a lot of it's going to come down to whether or not that ultimatum knows where to go. Oh, and another nebula coming out here. Seven Trollowin is building up quite the force of airborne aircraft carriers. A little unclear exactly what they're or when they're planning to attack with that, but they don't really need to attack anytime soon. Both of their opponents are exhausting themselves pretty quickly, and Seven Trollowin isn't losing much territory in the process. But also trying to retake territory would be a difficult, if not suicidal, thing to do. So yeah, just let Anakin and Forever fight it out. Although, admittedly, they are getting more and more cash, and both Anakin and Forever have... Well, okay, Anakin is level 7 shop, Forever is level 10. Catching up in terms of unit quality with Sub and Trollowin. Also, people point out you can't repair, so yeah, you can't... That's the thing to point out. Oh, did the ulti get spotted? Oh, no, it's not! There's the ulti! It's... It's going! 
The ulti is going. Apologize, I realize there's stuff going on in the northwest there forever and Anarchate are fighting, but the ulti is going. I needed to watch that. Same time in the center, though, it looks like Forever is managing to completely push back Anarchate thanks to an absolutely unholy amount of felons. Sorry, of rogues. Sorry. No felons yet, but that would be even worse. <laughs> absolutely unholy amount of rogues. A whole gallery full of rogues. And that is going to mean Forever cannot really hold the north for... Or sorry, Anarchy cannot hold the north for any length of time. Forever is going to be able to take that. Possibly push through that, get through into a lot of Anarchist territory. The Anarchist, with a bunch of cloaked lances going over to the side. And should be able to take out the northwest pretty handily. Ooh. Forever didn't see that coming. And Anarchid, of course, trying to play Diplomacy here. Sub and Trollowin with a third Nebula. So far, the first two seem to have a complete set of drones. Let's see how many drones there are. Uh, it's... Doesn't... No, it doesn't have drones in the help file. <laughs> All out in the opening. Forever knows exactly what's happening. It's like, oh, my opponents are team up against me. Okay, cool. Although, that ultimatum trying to find a way in. Oh, yeah, right. I guess we can go around the back. Try to find a way in that way. Although, I don't think the ultimatum can deal enough damage to kill the HQ on its own. 2,000, but there's a lot of ticks. 10,000. You know, it might be able to, actually. I think that might be big enough that the multiple ticks of ultimatum's attack could actually kill the HQ. But if Anakin wants to do that, they got to do that quick. Ultimatum. Ooh, very nearly got spotted. Did get spotted! Anarchid losing the ultimatum. Oh, that is a shame. Ultimatum did nothing. Forever managed to spot it with a load of locusts, and I don't think Anarchid has any other options, really. Seven Trollowin, however, is coming in. He has the puppies. Has the... Well, has the boatload of Nebula drones coming in here. Nebulas don't even have to be in range anymore since the drones have all been built. And at the same time, for the Northwest Anarchid, Glaze versus Locusts. I'm betting on the Locusts. Especially as the support forces come in along the side. Locusts don't really have much of a chance. Nebula coming in and over to the eastern side of the map. Should be able to find something. A little unclear, but I think, yeah, Locusts are going to be able to find quite a lot going for them. Sorry, Locus. The Nebula is going to find quite a lot going for them because there isn't really... There's the Ettons, and that's it. The Ettons go down, there's really not much else for dedicated anti-air. Though, to be fair, a lot of the Nebula drones have been killed out in the process, but the Nebula themselves are very much alive. Forcing Forever to retreat with their Locusts, and that will give Anarchid a lot of room to breathe. But the Ettons coming in... Providing enough pressure, the Nebulas are motivated to retreat, and there's the Locusts! Going into the Nebulas, going past the shields, and that might be a real problem for the Nebulas. So they have a lot of HP working to work with. Looks like it won't be enough. The Etten's coming along the side, alongside the Locust. That is one Nebula down. One Nebula has been shot down. Etten's around the side as well. The other one's not shot down. The last one has no real chance to escape, and that was 18,000 metal spent by Seven Trollowin. Got one metal extractor to their name as a result, but that was about it. And that nebula is looking pretty weak right now. It was, however, however, able to retreat. Oh, my bad. Those were some Trollowin's Eddins. Got rid of all the locusts. Of course, at the same time, we have... Okay, now this is... A, well, it's three felons. Not, it's, a, it's still not entirely as simple, but yeah. Okay, it's less HP than a Dante or Cyclops. People dying from pointing out the Dante or Cyclops are often one shot with more HP. But Dante or Cyclops are, off, are also on the ground. And don't have shields. And I think it can do friendly fire. I mean, it's a, it's a splash damage flak attack, so it's probably friendly fire. 
seem to damage a lot of the locusts being built up by forever. Yeah, that does seem likely. At the same time, seven troll. I wonder what they have up their sleeve. They still have another nebula coming in. The first one didn't die. But the Etans that Seven Trollowent brought were forced to retreat or... No, they were forced to retreat. They didn't die. But more Etans are on the way for forever. But they are forced to divide their attention on two fronts here. The Etans, however, over to get rid of the Nimbuses. And the Outlaws on the... Or the Anglers, rather, on the ground aren't going to be doing any real damage. I mean, once the Nimbuses are gone, there's no real threat. And forever can continue to move back and push against all these Anglers. The Nimbus is providing a fair bit of pressure in the south side of Forever's base. Still a bit of an issue, but I don't think it's going to be that major. No real support ends. Nothing really stopping Locusts from just swarming around the map wherever they want to. And, of course, Anarchy kind of pushed... Or Forever kind of pushed Anarchy to over-optimize into anti-air. So I think Anarchy might be in trouble. Forever with a bit of a stronger economy going for them. See how that pans out. Oh, yeah, I was talking about the... Sorry, you're right, the the HQ. Right, sorry, the ultimatum. Yes, that would have... Dying Friend confirming that would have been one shot. My bad. Thank you, Dying Friend. Moving on, though. The Nebulas are actually doing really good work here. As much as Forever was able to push them back from the main base, they are still taking a lot of metal extractors, putting Southern Troll in a quite advantageous position right now. Definitely the strength of this unit is just being able to take out whatever you need, with as long as it's not heavily defended. But the mechs largely aren't, so that actually works out pretty well. Looks like Anarchy and, and Forever might have to worry about Southern Troll becoming too big for their britches. Those Anakid, sorry, Forever is coming in, getting rid of some of the mexes. So they're not completely allowing Sub Entrollement to take everything without fail. They're just waiting until Sub Entrollement is done, and then they move back. Gotta be careful, though, because the Locusts are going to be swarmed by a bunch of Swifts. And the Etans are completely out of position to actually deal with them. Forever now moving towards... I was about to say, Forever should probably move that further down, but they already have. And over here, of course, we have a nice little bowl. Mostly of anti-air. Ooh, Edens again coming in. Can they get out of their shields? Can they destroy the shields? And, well, they can certainly damage the shields enough to be a threat. A very credible threat. Nebula's forced to retreat. I think the Swifts are safe, but Forever at least got their territory back. So that's really what it comes down to. Pushing Seven Trollwind back. Forever continuing to maintain their dominance. Same time, Anarchid. Oh, with the cheap units, but cheap but effective units going in to try to take out more of what's happening. And Seven Trollwind. Are they building more Nebulas? I feel like they're just building more. They already have four. The Etans didn't kill them last time. The drones are being built up in greater numbers, and the Swifts are there as nice little support against Locusts. It looks like if there's any chance to get rid of the Nebulas, it faded five minutes ago. And Anarchid... Can they... What can they push out from here? So, chat is mostly betting on Anarchid, though we do have Diamond thinking that, or sorry, Kingstad thinking that it's going to be the Seven Trollowins and Nebulas winning the game. Danger Noodle and Front Diamond Friend are going with Anarchid because of FFA experience. Well, what'll be interesting to see is if Forever goes down, how the players respond to that. I mean, so far, these nebulas, just the shields alone, doing loads of work. Although, it's quite a risk. There are... No, there's still some ends left. Actually, maybe just the one. Maybe just the one. Oh, boy. Sorry, just three ends left. 
So that is not great. Enough to threaten... Oh, enough to kill one of the nebulas. Same time, though, Anarchid was distracted away from defending their western side. And that might have been enough. Still, though, seven troll with the nebulas coming in. I don't... I don't there's not a whole lot in the way of defenses. Etans are being rebuilt. The nebulas are heavily damaged. This could be a suicide mission on the part of Seven Trollowind. I would recommend they retreat. There are way too many Etans here. 19 Etans. The nebulas, at least two of them are going to go down from this. Oh, boy. Oh, not quite. No, they're faster than I expected. Never mind. Just a little bit faster. Just a little bit faster enough. Actually, are they? Yes, just barely. There wasn't enough focus fire. Didn't manage to take them out. Although, the, ooh, those Swifts aren't having a good time. Same time, though, forever losing basically everything to the northwest. Not to mention everything over to the southeast has been built up. A lot of Ents coming in there. Ah, interesting. Felon. Yeah, go over the heavily defended. Why not? Try to take it out. It's not like the Nebulas can really stop them. So yeah, thug, felon. Get rid of all the metal extractors. Get rid of the defenses. Get rid of the defenses. Open things up. Open things up. Sub and Trollin has a harder time setting themselves up to actually defend things properly. And as a result, becomes way more vulnerable. Yeah, this might have been a mistake with the Nebulas pushing out as far as they did. Kind of prompted... Prompted quite the revenge hit. Well, the Nebulas are still alive. No Nebulas were lost. It's just that they were pushed back and Summon Troll lost a lot of the defenses around the Metal Extractors near their main base. Which is not great. Because holding on to Metal Extractors is very important. Now it's just going to be way easier for Summon Troll to be invaded in the future. And yeah, they're able to take back the Metal Extractors, but the important thing is that a lot of these defenses were lost, so there's way less attrition for forever if they go for another assault later on. And again, forever taken out. And you get another Metal Extractor, just opening the path between the two of them. I mean, from this point, it's still kind of iffy. I mean, the Nebulas are... Their shields are back up, they're still in really good shape. Pushing enough times will force the Etans, and that won't be a good op or won't be well, won't be a good setup here for forever. Because if they go too many Etans, then they don't have enough anti-ground forces, and that would leave forever open to kill them. And forever, of course, has taken the Northwest rather decisively, actually, with crabs and everything. Wait, Anarchid? Oh my goodness, Anarchid is just stacking ultimatums. I mean, you know, one per base that they can sneak in properly. But they break open a hole with, within the defenses, yeah. No, that's each HQ down. I mean, Anarchid almost managed with Forever. Which would have won them the game 10 minutes ago. Because if they'd taken out Forever's HQ, could have just sweeped the rest of the Metal Extractors and then taken out everything here. Because Sub and Troll would have been fighting three bases worth of income. At this point, Anarchids, however, stuck with Glaives. Does have a Dante coming in here. Well, uh, it's bad for the Etans. It's maybe not terrible for anything else. Well, on the other hand, the outranging is a problem. And really, the no Aryans could come in to helpfully deal with that. Ooh, and at the same time, Tremors... Tremors coming in here. That's not how you do a rolling barrage, buddy. <laughs> you, have to, you have to shoot in front of the units, not on them. At any rate, Anakin's still able to get a solid push forward. Kind of defending with Tremors, in a manner of speaking. And of course, the Etten's making sure the drones have a miserable time. Same time, though, Anakin. Yeah, that Dante, it is causing some issues. 
Though there should be enough rogues to deal with it. It is still kind of tricky. There's the rogue. Now they get free, free shot or angle to fire from. A little bit too clumped together before, but now it's fine. Remember's again coming in. Not likely to kill off any metal extractors too heavily. I mean, it's more a matter of <gasps> dominatrix. What? Okay, that's dangerous. Here, Domi's gonna, I think these Domi, Domi Cluster is not going to be able to get through the Locusts. I mean, they're capping some and then dying soon afterwards, so it's really not helping, but... Oh, that's... That might have been overplaying their hand. I think Seven Trollowin... It's a good play if it was supported properly, but unfortunately there wasn't the support to make sure the Domi's didn't die in the process. No, not quite as effective as Mr. Seven Trollowin would have hoped. Same time, Anarchy going for an assault to the western side of the, of Forever's base. Not a bad position to attack from. There's not a whole lot of things to defend. There are, however, Stardusts. Those are a bit of a problem. But again, the Metal Extractor is the key. That is the linchpin. That goes down and everything else goes with it. However, so many Glaives died in the process. It's hard to deal with that. Yeah, I don't think Seven Trollin realizes, hey, I mean, I don't know. Looking at the situation right now, Forever can't quite be beaten by Seven Trollowin directly. And of course, they have to deal with Anarchid. But then Forever... They still have a reasonably strong army. Like, Anarchid's been pushing in with Raider forces that they've been losing as they've been pushing in. So they've been getting rid of the defenses that have built up from around the Metal Extractors, but not really getting rid of the actual metal income that Forever ha had. Medicator, 87.3. Forever, 40. Seven Trollowin, 62. Oh, and Seven Trollowin. Ah, betraying Anarchid, are we? I mean, they don't have a lot of anti-air, so it's... Well, actually, they do. They have anglers. They have a fair few anglers, actually. In fact, they have a dozen angler or 16 anglers. What? Okay, people are commenting on the minimap. Yes, I have the minimap partly for streams, and because I like to zoom in on streams, but I also just like to zoom in in general. Ooh, the Nebula is going for a suicide run on the HQ, and they will be able to get it. Way too much firepower here on the HQ. That is going to go down. Oh, maybe not. Actually, a lot of the drones did go down. No, the the HQ is dead. Anarchy has lost their HQ. They are, I think, just basically done. That leaves Forever as the only opposition to Seven Trouble, but Seven Trouble lost a lot of nebulas in the process. All of them, in fact. Which is indeed a lot. Anakin now just like, running around with the head cut off. They've got nothing they can build. A lot of these things to work with, but nothing they can build. I have no window under my minimap. I mean, I can check with the... Or not that one. Nope. There's the replay window. But no inventory window or anything. I mean, not bad thinking, but... But yeah, that is... Yeah, I don't see any inventory window for the player. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, I do! Oh, thanks, actually. Yes, that's that was exactly what I saw. I had the thing selected. But when I do, I can find the inventory window. Good thinking. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, cool. Okay, not sure why that was set up the way it was, but I guess it was... That's the default, so yeah. Good to know. So yeah, we have... I did you before? Eh. There we go. Or more or less. Anyway. Crow coming in here from forever, which I don't think it's going to be able to get. Actually, might be able to. 
A lot of dummies coming in, and that no, that crow is being that's crow is gonna switch sides. It's trying, it's really trying. But the dummy's going down. However, the rest of the forces are forced to retreat as well. So, forever tried. Still have to deal with a lot of anarchist forces coming in, possibly taking them out in the process. Oof. So forever definitely in the strongest position to win this. Though Anarchate, it looks like they are trying to see if they can take out forever before forever can take out the rest of their metal extractors. Because Anarchate still has a lot going for them in terms of metal extractors and overall territory. And forever doesn't. Oh, I see. Okay, so yeah, just hit the X to get rid of the unit in question. Cool. Well, I feel kind of silly, but hopefully some more arena mod stuff in the future, and I'll know exactly what's going on then. Alright, so... Reasonable shield bot approach coming in here for forever. Man, a lot of... Still daggers, surprisingly. I haven't popped those out for something else. A little unclear. I mean, we have... Mainly air, anti-air artillery, some dummies. Nebula is clearly the main thing for some entrollment. And of course, Anarchid has lost their HQ, so I can't see what they were doing. And for those of you who curse, I think this is actually the win button model. I believe that's the model that was used for the HQ. And it's just kind of cool seeing the units that we don't normally see. Anarchate's still in a very threatening position. This is not going to be going lightly. I mean, the, the lances alone are going to be quite quite the problem to deal with. At the same time, Seven Trollament looking to finish off Anarchate, getting rid of a bunch of their metal extractors. It does distract a bit. Also, oh, the Wolverine's coming. Actually, the Batch is coming in? I think that's, I mean, the crab is not the best option, but it's not terrible. But unfortunately, the lances are there to just completely wipe it out. Completely erase it, honestly. Not even bother. It almost feels like the best option here is just have the claws get detected by the lances. Have the lances shoot the claws and hit the, hit the crab instead. No. So we're getting a swamp in. Oh, are we going... No, we're getting re-roll into something else. Into Grizzly! Grizzly coming up here for forever, and Anarchid. Oh, Anarchid, I don't think they can pull this off. I mean, they'll be able to pull it off in terms of being able to get in. If the if sub controlment doesn't react within like five seconds, and if sub controlment is distracted, I should say, then they'll lose their HQ. But I think Anarchy kind of has to go for it now-ish. Yeah, actually, right now. Sub and Trollin is very distracted. This is too tight, but honestly, it's fine. It doesn't really matter. There's no way to go that isn't too tight. Like, this valley here between the two is going to take them out, and there's not a whole lot of defenses in the main base area. 2,000 health will survive the lotus four lotuses for long enough to shoot. Anarchists only got so much time before they lose all their mexes, and of course they are at least doing some damage onto forever. Again, those lances are doing really good work here. And the archers are making sure that the crow can't actually come in and defend. It might try, but it won't be able to. And there's the ulti! It's going! It's trying. No, Anarchid lost the nerve. It is on hold fire. Maybe they are going to try to go through here? I don't know. That still feels really risky. There is going to be spotted around here. There's no way around it. I mean, there's only so long... Oh, the Seven Trollin did just lose one of the Nebulas. Now is a bad time. Now will be a bad time. Seven Trollin is going to be focusing on their main base. With an ultimatum of their own, no less. 
possibly going to try to see if they can get rid of the HQ on the side of Forever. And Claw's coming. Ooh, those lances. Anakin is distracted. Anakin, what are you paying attention to right now? Oh, no, you are paying attention to them. Never mind. Oh, the ulti's about to be spotted. There's no way around it. That nebula. Oh, what? No, the nebula didn't quite spot it. Okay, well. There's still some hope then. Oh, I see this. Trying to solve the issue of threading the needle. No, this this solar collector is just off to the side just enough. If you if you look closely at that at the range, it is just a little bit too much. Yeah. Oof, another nebula, however, has been built. And also, ooh, a switch over here. Are we getting Paladin? I think we're getting Paladin. Looks like that's what's happening. We're seeing Forever save up for Paladins. Seven Trollowin hasn't really changed their composition at all in a long time. I mean, it's a good composition. I wouldn't... I don't know why I'd really take out. Oh, Ultimatum goes for it. Just forget it. I'm not even going to bother with being sneaky. Just take out the stuff in the way. Ah, okay, it's on fire at will, unfortunately. No! Oh, it just needs a metal extractor. Just needs a metal extractor. Ah, oh, it got the metal extractor. Last second, and now it's got the HQ. Oh, didn't quite. So close. Oh, the the savior ultimatum gave its own life to take out anarchists, and there's no way anarchists can't get any more. That was the last one. That was it. Oh, that sucks. Oh, that is so painful. Anarchid, they have thrown in the towel. They have resigned. Oof. Yeah, I mean, it was an interesting strategy, but I still think hold fire, walk in, rely on the, the Lotus is not doing that much damage, and get into the HQ would have been it. At the same time, though, Ulti is trying to come in, do the same thing, and I don't know how this is going to work forever. There's not really... There's There are safe paths. I think there's enough room here if you thread the needle. Or just straight up go all the way around. Yes, five seconds. Okay, fine. Five seconds may not be that... Like, okay, it's not that slow. Blech. But the five-second reaction time is more just... You know, if you're distracted, you may not notice the fact that, hey, something's happening in your base. Oh, Seven Trollowin doing the same thing. On old fire, though, a bit smarter. A bit smarter, because the outlaws are coming in right now. Really wipes out the attempt to get the paladin, but the outlaws are up, and yeah, that's not great. That is a dead ulti. Not sure why Seven Trollowin didn't like, learn the lesson from the last time, which is that shooting the mechs doesn't help. Like, you need to shoot the HQ. Seven Trollin at this point, having gotten the bottom half of the map, and forever cleaning up Anakin's old forces, taking the top, and now it's Anakin versus Seven Trollin. Anakin, I think, has a slight advantage right now. For army, though, Seven Trollin has much more money going to them. Are they, I, I, I thought they were waiting for the Paladin, but I guess they figured there's too much pressure. They've got to just build up and cannot wait. Iris coming in as well. Ooh, Iris cloaked dummies. That seems to be the the play here. I don't even. I think you. I, I mean, I'm imagining that much like basically everything else, you could capture the HQ. Which would be kind of funny. I mean, if you get the HQ and it's like, oh, you have two different unit shops and two different... Because I don't know if this is per player or per HQ. I only see the menu with the HQ, so it could very well be pure HQ. Oof, this is going to be... That's going to be tricky. Forever getting that northeast side. Seven Troll and just finishing off Anarchist forces over to the southwest. And... Yeah, close dummies. You know, done right. Could do the trick. 
And that is it. That's what's happening. Thugs aren't... Wait, why aren't the thugs cloaked? That's weird. Maybe you can't be shielded and cloaked at the same time. you think I would know this, but no, I don't offhand. Well, Forever Anakin... The names are just so similar, you know? <laughs> oh, the Dami is not even being reacted to. Thugs completely taking over. The entire defense force... Entire frontal defense force for Forever... Now belongs to some Trollman. And the Nebula's coming in as well. Sub and Trollman. Whatever advantage may have existed for forever is gone now. Yeah, I don't Oh yeah, no. Other people have drinks. I don't drink. I and I would kill myself because I don't know why I get I get names confused. I'm so used to having them at the top, but you can't do that with FFA very well. And there isn't much call for a spectator display for FFA, and it's kind of hard to figure out how to design it anyhow. Oh, interesting. I mean, if you capture the metal extractor, that'll die, killing off the rest of them. <laughs> Seeing as they're killing themselves in the process. So, interesting. Interesting way of going about it. I'm kind of surprised they aren't friendly firing this mech. Like, they really ought to. Because if that mech dies, then it's... Now it belongs to them. They belong to Summon Trollman. Yeah, good. Oh, never mind. That, that just happened by accident. Say so, no. Like, seriously, friendly fire the mechs. Friendly fire, kill the mechs. That'll make it Summon Trollman's. I don't know if stuff gets built up around this mech if it's going to belong to Summon Trollman or forever. Okay, now it's going to belong to forever because the mechs has been killed off by them, but. Yeah, independent of that, I don't know. And the crow has been changed has been forced to change sides. Will just be a suicide mission. There's so many Ettons there, it's not gonna be able to do all that much work, but. Oh, there's the bombs! Okay, actually, there's some work that was done. Got rid of a ton of the outlaws. Damage through the Ettons as well. Oh, it's still dropping bombs as it dies. Oh, it's not dead. Oh no, it is dead. It's absolutely dead. Just the shape of the ram, man. It wasn't quite dead. Hadn't quite hit the ground yet. It's an interesting approach. Certainly provided a nice distraction, allowing the Nebula to come along in the center. Start taking all the forces there. The Yetans were entirely focused on getting rid of that crow that had been stolen from them. Not able to focus on much else. Oh, okay. We have Detri on the plate, but I don't think it's going to be built up. It looks like there's empty spots. Almost uh, Firework wouldn't be a good choice here. Not really a lot of good choices here for Seven Troll. Uh, sorry, for Forever. Take a shot! No. No, I thought it was Anakin forever you take a shot. Sub and Troll went forever, I... I guess you'd also take a shot? I don't know. Don't, like, don't kill yourselves. Like, be safe. Yeah, also, okay, so, bearing in mind, a bit of an intuition needs to be thought about, or needs to be kind of thrown out a bit in this, is that Reclaim doesn't exist. It just doesn't. There, there is no reclaim option. There's no builders or anything. So you so you don't really feed metal the same way that you normally would. Losing a bunch of units is not as devastating as it is in the vanilla game. Oof. And that's all the mechs is going over to Seven Trollowin. I mean, there's a retake attempt coming up. How many Ettons are there? None on the south. So the south is a safe way out. The Ettons are over to the east. They are presenting a bit of a larger problem. But they are not that big of a concern. I mean, the thing is, if the Nebulas can get out, they are fine. And the Nebulas... Well, they should be able to get out, but one of them just got shot down. Two of them just got very thoroughly shot down. Last one, at least, we'll be able to get out of there, but that was not great. And now Forever knows they don't have to worry so much. I mean, granted, they're way behind an economy, but now they don't have to worry so much about the Nebulas for a little while. I mean, 6,000 metal apiece. There's only... No, 9,000 metal left. Are we going to see any rerolls or anything? Make the ulti cheaper? I don't know.
gotten some changes so far. But it looks like both Forever and Southern Chalman are pretty much stuck with their compositions. They don't really have the, comp the confidence that they can continue with the compositions they have. I mean, their their compositions are fine. But I think Forever might want to consider adding something else that can deal with this, but I don't know what it would be, because they can't stop building units. They're under too much heavy fire. Certainly not going to get a detriment. Yeah, I have no idea. Oh, wait. I'm sorry. King's Eye pointing out something important. Puppies, of course, have the Grey Goo mechanic, so they can just go in here and reclaim. You can build a bunch of them and then s lose the spot. And then just use a reclaim to keep getting more and more puppies without having to spend money on the puppies and having the slot open for other units. That is a smart idea. Also, 16 cloaked dummies, because why not? Gotta be careful about the exact timing. That's... How many rogues are those? 27 rogues? Yeah, the dummies aren't going to take those. They can certainly try. Although, if they take out the Eddins, everything else will be taken out by... Oh, nice! Outlaw coming in here. Good choice! Little iffy, considering that the dummies are under heavy threat. But, yeah. Good choice, nonetheless. Get rid of those frontal units. Push back the rest of these forces. Deal a lot of damage. Force the retreat. That'll open up a path for the nebula to come in. Swing along the side. Well, a lot of dummies were lost in the process. Now there's only, what... Yeah, half the dummies were destroyed. Not ideal. But it did provide some disruption, at least. Forever at the same time, though, decides not a bad time to go and take out more of the map. Attacking off the side, attacking off the front. It is... It is proven to be a little bit tricky. Forever, however, with two crabs now, making it that much harder to come in. Though, admittedly, the dummies, if they come in with the crabs, I don't know. Crabs are... Well, I mean, against eight dummies, it's... Because one dummy is... 660 capture. I can't remember exact logic about capture works. I think capture is damage relative to existing health. So 660 would mean it could capture a crab in a second. I think. Mm, yeah, there's no way to... And the ulti as well is in place, but there's no way for it to really get around. Not from this side, anyway. Could theoretically go down the other way. Like, just go along the entire other side. Come in here. But, I mean, Forever is not expecting an assault from that side. Same time, though, we just have... Again... Seven Trollant. Taking the Northwest. Forever, however, is taking the Southwest. There's nothing stopping them. Except the pressure of having to save the Northwest. That is stopping them. That That's actually proving to be their undoing right now. And the remainder of this force... Oof. Man, I bet I bet Forever would have loved to have a detriment. But there's no way they can get that. Oh, on the other hand... Oh, on the other hand, Sub and Trollwin could absolutely get a detriment. That could close out the ma... Oh, Nulti's dead. That could close out the match. Ulti just dead, too. Oh, well, so much Ulti going around the side, but... Now there's Detriment. Money is there. Detriment should be picked pretty soon. And, yeah, that slot was... What was it? Swifts, I think. Yeah, it was Swifts. They, they scrapped Swifts to get the detriment. And this... Is this even going to be necessary? I think the Nebula is going to do most of the work here. The drones are having a difficult time... Oh, never mind. No, no, no. The Etten's coming in. The drones are having a difficult time against the Outlaws, which have gone down. The Etten's are causing problems, but there's none in the main base. The Nebulas could just go straight in. 
I mean, the debt tree has been taken. It's got to wait another 20,000 to actually build the thing. Oh, never mind. The nebulas are going down. Ah, it needed to be another suicide mission or bust. Fortunately, it is bust. None of the nebulas are going to survive this. And that is Sub and Trollman giving forever a bit of reprieve. I mean, again, Sub and Trollman clearly going for that debt tree. But they kind of need to, you know, maybe build other things. I mean, it's, it's a bit of a gamble going what they're doing. They're clearly trying to save up for the debt tree. Puppy's coming along. Oof. Come on, Grey Goo. Yeah, the puppies aren't going to do much good here. Thinking Grey Goo come in, do stuff? No, it's not going to do much. It's too much. There's too many units. Puppies aren't a bad choice, but, like, send them up to the reclaim fields where, you know, there's... Oh, I guess they all belong to forever now. Never mind, then. Send them to the reclaim fields as you create the fields, I suppose. I mean, all of these nebulas, man, that is a lot. Heck, right here, Puppy's going over here where all the nebulas died on the assault of Anarchist base. That'd be a great place to send a puppy. Just send a puppy over there and then you're good. Like, seriously, one puppy. It'll eat the entire base and you'll have loads more puppies while still being able to get a detriment. Forever. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Forever is starting to really make that detriment become a problem just with all the units coming in and kind of dealing with the economy. Seven Troll went losing metal all over the place. Like, seeding most of the map, trying to wait for that detriment to be built up, and it's going to take that much longer because, of course, waiting on the detriment to be ready means that they're not building anything else and losing a lot of metal extractors. Entirely relying on dominatrices to hold the line, but that's all they have. The nebulas are dead. Have puppies, which haven't been used remarkably efficiently. But... Uh, 2,000 metal left. And that's... Ooh, the Dami is all in whole fire. Good-ish ch choice. Oh, there we go. That's why. Take a crab. Good call. Take a crab. Oh, no! The Dami that took the crab is gonna go down! It's still decloaked thanks to the... Well, thanks to the outlaw, really. Oh, what? Oh, friendly fire from the possessed crab takes out all the dominatrices. Detri, however, is up. So we'll see if the gambit was worth it. It all comes down to this. If this detriment doesn't save the day... Well, actually, that's not entirely true. There's a lot more that could be built. That's... Southern Trollman still has half the map. They still have their HQ. They still build loads of units. They're just... They're still relying a lot on the detriment to actually provide them with the cover they need. And the Ettons... Oh, they're covering against the puppies. Puppies coming in. Oof. Yeah, against shields, not great. Are there ultis in the cart? No! No, their chat was right. No ultis. The unit shop currently doesn't have a card available for ultis. So right now, this is Forever's, and there's nothing. There's nothing Forever has to stop the debt tree, and for reference, they just spotted it. As it melted their crab. Well, crabs are at least coming in. That's not totally an anti-heavy, but it's definitely some decent damage and decent tankiness. And there's the reroll. Frantic rerolls to try to find something, anything to deal with this. Probably find an ultimatum. Oof. So many rerolls. So little time. Why are these bullets just sitting here dying? This forever is really distracted. Oh, there's the ulti. Got the ulti. Able to finally set that up. 
of course. Actually, why don't we get to seeing puppies here? There's like thousands of metal. I think it's one thing Southern Trollin is kind of making a mistake on is... I mean, they went for having Nebula. Now that I wonder if they're going for multiple detriments. It's like, no, you have your detriment. Use support units to cover for possible ultimatums. Oh! Okay, interesting. Apparently the available cards are limited by the active players and what they have. So because Anarchid had the ulti, it couldn't go to Seven Trollin for a little while. Sorry, it couldn't go to Forever for a little while. Well, Forever was saving for Detriment at one point. Or it looked like they might have been. But yeah, the ulti is... Where's the ulti? There's the ulti. Coming around the side, being clever. Oh, wait, it... No, that's the detriment zone shot. The ulti is... It's there. Ooh. Well, unfortunately, detriment is very strong. It is 80,000... 86,000 health, but... There are multiple ultimatums, which is exactly what you need to do. Why there aren't puppies moving forward to try to screen for the ultimatums, I don't know. Same time, Nebula over to the side of the map. That's what they're saving up for. And more ultimate is being built. I don't know where the rest are. One down there, but it, this does look pretty desperate. Forever. Oh, never mind. They jumped on the ulti. Ah! The ulti is your only threat. Oh, it's done. It's gone. The ulti is gone, but that cleared the way for basically everything else to get to the HQ. Dash Magister say is also gone. More importantly. Clearing the way for the HQ. But unfortunately for Southern Trollin, all they have is a nebula. They didn't have a follow-up force. Oof, that could have... Ah, oh, they could have gotten rid of the HQ. I was so close to getting rid of the HQ. Oof. Oh, okay. A correction in the chat. I'm pointing out that everyone... There's one card per player. There's one card per player, so people can have one each unless someone buys twice to get a cheaper cost. Okay, that, that makes sense. I, I expect that actually might change by the value. Like, probably golds are like that. Golds maybe purples are like that, and blues and greens maybe have two per player, and then... The colorless ones just have any number. But man, that is that is painful. I think this is going to be it. Seven Troll went. Oh, I don't know. They're going for another one. Have the Nebula trying to go around to defend the map and take out metal extractors and keep their metal extractors alive. It looks like another Detri is on the way, but of course more ultimatums are also on the way, and the puppies aren't being used as a screening force. Oh, but we are getting a change though. Switching into Iris. Or back into Iris, rather. Are we getting Cloak Detri? I mean, maybe. Detri will be up in a couple seconds. There it is! Detriment is up. And I expect Iris is to follow soon afterwards. Nebula coming around on the flank. Okay, this looks a lot healthier. The Nebula is coming around on the flank. And there's the jump. Okay. Yep. And tit. And kill half the... Oh, none of them, actually. Completely missed. Oh, that actually is going to be it. Yeah, that dead tree is kind of on its own now. Yeah, that, that actually, the HQ is on its own. Oh, puppy's coming in, desperately trying to save the day. Dealing some damage, but it's hard to tell. I think the HQ is done. Once the Grizzly gets a clear shot of it, it's over. Although the Detriment might actually be able to kill the Grizzly before that happens. Oh, boy. Oh, it's close. Oh, oh Grizzly's down. Arena HQ is saved. Puppies are up. Don't, don't shoot the HQ. Okay. Well, Summon Troll and almost own gold there, but... They saved the day, nonetheless. 
Sheesh. And now buckets of puppies pouring out of here. Okay, good. Area guard the detriment. You learned the lesson from last time. Screen for detriments. Or screen for ulties. And now it's a matter of marching into Forever's base. Against a bunch of revenants, hoping for the best. Oh, oh no, the Black Dons. I know what's happening. I know what's happening. This is a this is a sneak attack. Black Dons are kind of going to come around the back. Yeah, you can see they're already targeting the, the HQ. It's going around back. Take out the HQ. Oof, there's... I don't know if that's been spotted. Uh, it's been spotted now. Yep, it's been spotted. Puppies gotta go in position. The puppies are at least maybe a way of saving it. Detriment definitely spots it enough to go after it. Are you attacking? Where the heck are you? Yes, you are here. Trying to figure out desperately how to deal with this, but oh, it's not gonna be enough. That the HQ is down. The HQ is down. There's no way they can stop them. And that's it. The HQ is done. Detriment is the only hope. Maybe. Maybe. It's, it's possible that Etri can come in there, take out everything inside of Anarchid's base. Sorry, Forever's base. Take a shot inside of Forever's base, and that'll be it. But yeah, that, those revenants finishing the job. Clever move. And at the same time, this nebula looks like it's not in the best of shape but yeah the revenant's forced back oof though that hq being down that is huge for now at least there's you know the detri gets over the ulties are screened for so they're gonna get taken out quickly enough there's only three ettons coming in what is forever saving for though they have 2,000 metal. Are they saving for anything or just trying to build up? Oh, they're trying to get ulties. That's why. And their economy is a little weak. Puppies coming in. Got rid of a few. And of course, the puppies will break you everything they get. They pass by. So, yeah. Gonna be a lot more puppies where those came from. As they go. Oh, and they inherit the orders from the... No, they don't inherit the orders from the parents. There's gonna be puppies, a lot of puppies hanging out from the Grey Goo. Kind of need to select them all and put them back in an area guard. Oof, that lack of repair is starting to hurt. And thug outlaw coming up here, trying to get rid of those puppies is a safeguard, but really it's the detriment. That's the problem. The puppies are just there to stop ultimatums from doing anything they want. And the nebula. Oh, I like that. On the ground, letting the drones take care of everything. Good call. I like it. Of course, the problem with the ulties, they're forced to retreat here. Unfortunately, a lot of the puppies are losing their area guard, getting caught up in the ramp, and just generally not being able to get ahead of the detri. Uh, it looks like it may not last for long, but yeah. Oof. How much does the D gun do? D gun 12,000 at least I imagine it's like a multiple hit I think but yeah ah uh, well there's the D gun I mean eliminated the army if nothing else and the puppies are still there to screen for ulties so that's that's a thing where are the rest of the puppies Ah, of course, get... <laughs> yeah, get the first detriment, turn into loads of puppies. There we go, there's the jump! Should... See. Oh, are they gonna jump? They're jumping on the HQ! Not even going for the D-gun! Just stomp the... Goomba stomp the HQ! Take it out completely. And then let's wipe out the rest of Forever's base. I think Sub and Troll went... I don't know, they might have this. No, the detriment's gonna go down. Ah! Puppies are it. It's puppies versus thugs. Forever might be able to pull this back. It's gonna be tough, but... Oh! 
What? No! I mean, forever at least there's no reinforcements, but I don't know. Puppies are like puppies are good. They got the they can they're the only thing they can reclaim. So just get buckets of puppies and use them to take out the rest of the metal extractors. There's nothing that forever can build. Like literally nothing. There's nothing they can do to take advantage of the situation right now that puppies aren't gonna be able to take advantage of. Of course you gotta be careful with them. That's not being careful with them. Okay, well, got rid of the Stardust at any rate. Still. Grey goo out this nebula. Ooh, that's a lot. I mean, granted, nebulas are worth quite a bit in terms of natural reclaim. Just take nebula after nebula and turn into loads and loads of puppies. Sheesh. Oh, the ulti killed the HQ? Oh, oh the ulti death explosion killed the HQ, which explains why the detriment died. That ulti must have just been built right as soon as the Detri jumped on the HQ. So Death Explosion killed, the Death Explosion killed the Detriment, and that was that. Okay, and now puppies, on to the Nebula Corpses. Take out all the Nebula Corpses. Now I'm going for the Stardust again. Risky move, but it worked last time. And there it is, the puppies on the Nebula Corpses. There's nothing Forever can really do to stop this. They only have thugs. That is literally the only thing they have to stop this. Eight thugs. There is nothing Forever can do. Yeah. I think they realize this. We should see... Uh, we should see a GG any second now. Yeah, the puppies can just endlessly go through this. Well, near endlessly. The... The units that die, that are built around the metal extractor, don't leave wrecks, but there is so much already in the map. Because I believe once all the metal extractors are dead, then it's over. Oh, the ulti shot through the HQ! Oh, okay, so the ulti just friendly fired the HQ. Gotcha. That makes sense. And now the remaining puppies, 145 puppies. 130 puppies, and then of course we're going to see the numbers rise right back up once the detriment gets taken. Yeah, there, there it is. The detriment has been recaptured. That is it. The puppies can just eat the detriment and double their numbers. So there's like 200, 300 puppies after this. Not to mention, there's another detriment down there. So, yeah. That is that. Victory by Puppy, or Victory by Puppy Grey Goo. I've never seen that before, although admittedly this is a bit of an interesting different mod, so I guess it makes sense to be different things being seen. But yeah, Puppy Grey Goo, that, that did the trick. Oof. Well, I didn't realize the auto-generated buildings just taking each other out. But yeah, that is... Is there 200 for each one? Yeah. It's like 438 puppies right now. And even more reclaim exists. So take that too. <laughs> Fire response. I mean, Anarchid with the thugs is at least dealing some damage, but of course the thugs, you know, they'll... There's attrition that'll affect them to some degree. Is that a stinger? It is a stinger. Won't be up in time, but... It is a stinger. Oh, that was up. That would have been much better. Holy crap! How many puppies are there? 607 puppies! My GPU is... Actually, my GPU, my GPU is fine. Video memory is getting a little bit strained, but... Yeah, it's just a CPU strain. Oh my goodness. Alright, well at any rate, that's... Yeah, that, that should be it. How many are there? 627 puppies. Give or take. 
Well. <sighs> yeah, this is not going to work for a puppy kill. Now it's just <laughs> Sub and Trollo and sending puppies all around the map. And that is it. Forever throws in the towel. Starting to the last few units. And that is game. Okay, very interesting mod. Very interesting mod. I... Oh, wait. This is useless. Sub and Trollo and taking it by interesting nebula usage into puppies and puppies being the gray goo like that the fact that they're the only unit that can reclaim in this mod just saved the day so good job to you wow okay well that was that that was really interesting <laughs> that was really cool actually i mean the game actually ended up being an hour and 10 minutes long but that was a entertaining hour and 10 minutes so yeah cool good request anyway next Warzone couple oops pause. Next couple maps are going to be a little bit different. I or should say a little bit normal. So we have up next Ezeride and Dan Warrior on Fallendale, which is not going to take an hour. That'll be up in a couple minutes. So stay tuned.